beautiful morning here in the Ottawa River. We had all kinds of bird activity here today. We had three juvenile northern flickers. We've had a pine warbler. We've had all kinds of our goldfinches, chickadees, nuthatches, all of the regular followers. And it's just a beautiful day here on the Ottawa River. Hey, how you doing? Bob Folks here for the Gilly Galoo, just out here in the shop. Got a couple things we're going to do. Future video is uh, showing the, uh, we're going to clean up some feeders and uh, paint some pole systems and get some things ready. We've had a great morning here uh, at our place this morning with birds and uh, we wanted to talk a little bit about, you know, here we find ourselves in the uh, middle of, you know, kind of the middle of September-ish and a lot of things happening and migration certainly is well underway. What we had this morning was uh, uh, northern flickers in our yard, juvenile northern flickers. And the thing that I really uh, always find interesting, people come in the store all the time and talk to us about uh, various birds, obviously, but the flicker is certainly one that people kind of, uh, you know, aren't really that familiar with. And the uh, when I was younger and we first started getting into this, and in fact, I was digging around for a couple of the books that I had from the 70s just to kind of see what they said. Um, and that they, you know, they originally, uh, there are two, two subspecies of the northern flicker. It's a yellow shafted and red shafted uh, flicker. Uh, the red shafted tends to be the western bird, the yellow shafted tends to be the eastern bird, but they interbreed and uh, we certainly see remnants of both of those birds and both of those species from time to time here in eastern Canada. Uh, but the western is uh, from there and they, they intermingle and as I say interbreed and stuff. Beautiful, beautiful bird. Um, there's a, a good shot there of an adult male. Often you find them on the ground uh, digging around in your yard. Uh, they eat lots of ants and lots of grubs and lots of different things that are, that are in your yard and uh, you're often going to see them digging around on the ground. Um, the, this is a this is an adult male, yellow shafted, and here we'll really gotta try to get a good look at the the yellow shafted part. See the under part of the tail there, at, right where I have that little pointer, right there. That yellow, that's the underside, and and the the male is depicted by the red patch on the back of his head, and where you see that uh, black patch on its cheek right there. The the male yellow shafted has a red patch instead of that black patch. So they're very distinguishable, the spotted chest, the black patch on the front, big heavy strong beak as you can see there. They're very very strong and dig hard into the ground to dig up grubs and worms and all that kind of stuff. Um, so when you see the shaft, the flickers in your yard, you know you got a healthy yard because you got lots of bugs in your grass. <laughs> down in your ground and stuff. Uh, their call is uh, very similar actually. You can, you can, a lot of people kind of mix it up with uh, the, the pileated woodpecker. It's quite distinct. It's one of those things that when you get them side by side and you hear them side by side, you realize that, uh, that it's, it's quite different. Uh, the the, the uh, northern fricker is definitely like a ka -ka 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 -ka, kai 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 kind of a, a call where uh, where the um, pileated woodpecker isn't. I'll play it here. I'll just let that run through a couple times. Cool. These birds do migrate. They spend, they're they completely all across North America and they do mi migrate a little further south. They don't uh, overwinter here usually. Um, we're seeing some changes in that regard. Obviously people are seeing a lot of robins and some different things that we don't normally see. So we're seeing some differences in, the, in those senses but they don't normally overwinter here in eastern Ontario. Um, so they, uh, but they do not migrate to, you know, like we say, like hummingbirds, for instance, go to South America. South America. Uh, these flickers and stuff tend to go to the, to the lower part of the U.S. and, and uh, weather in the little more, uh, little warmer climates there. So we're just gonna kind of go from that. We're gonna go into, uh, we're just gonna play the uh, pileated woodpecker just so you can hear it. 
uh, and hear the distinction. So if you can kind of remember what you just heard there, and then here is the pileated woodpecker. So very similar, but very different when you hear them together. That was the long call. They have a short call that's a little more outburst. So that's the one that's kind of similar to the, uh, to the Northern Flicker. Then we'll just go right back to the Northern Flicker and see what you think here. As long as I can dial it in, we'll be good. Same but different. Great, great, great bird. I love this guy. They're great to have in your yard. I really enjoy having them there. Um, just give you some shots here. That's a uh, male, yellow shafted. There's a yellow shafted adult flying. You can see the underside, how yellow it is, particularly if you look at the tail feathers and look at the shape of those tail feathers. So if you see one flying, uh, you're gonna very, be able to depict them very easily based on that shape. If you take a look at that shape. And then we're gonna get uh, another male. See on the back of his head right there? The little red patch. Big black patch on its cheek, big, heavy, strong beak, chest markings, and then the markings underneath, and then the yellow shaft on the base of its wings and into its tail. That one. There's another one, that male. Now, there is the red shafted. See the black, where the black patches are on the yellow shafted? On its cheeks, the red shafted has the red patches. And then the underside of its tail, I don't know if you can see in the light there or not, but the underside of its tail has a very defined, there's, now see the difference? So there's red shafted, yellow shafted, red shafted, yellow shafted. So the very distinct differences between the two birds. Lovely bird, great to have around. Keep an eye on your grass and out in your yards these days. Get some water out there. Uh, make sure your feeders are filled. Get your well, future video we got coming up on air cleaning the, and painting some feeders. And we got an exciting thing happening too. We have a barred owl box installation that we're gonna be doing here very shortly that we've made uh, for a customer. And we got some very unique perks that we're gonna put on it. So I'll be showcasing that. So stay tuned. Subscribe if you're not already, and enjoy the buds. Take care.